Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about the potential energy. How is gravitational potential energy determined? Technically, potential energy is energy that is stored as a result of position or shape. An object's gravitational potential energy depends on its mass, its height, and the acceleration due to gravity. When this musician pulls the string of her cello to one side, the string is stretched and gains potential energy. The musician adds energy to the cello string by plucking it. The energy stored in the stretched string is potential energy. The stored energy is converted into kinetic energy when the string is released and it vibrates. The gravitational potential energy, which technically is the potential energy that depends upon an object's height, is called gravitational potential energy. This type of potential energy increases when an object is raised to a higher level. This diver has a gravitational potential energy as she stands at the end of a diving board. She gains the potential energy by doing work, by climbing up the steps to the diving board. The unit for mass is kilograms. The unit for height is meter. Acceleration due to gravity, which technically is denoted as g, has a value in the SI unit of 9.8 meter per second squared on Earth. The unit for gravitational potential energy is joules. So technically, potential energy, or PE, is measured by mass times height times the acceleration due to gravity, which is g, which is a constant that is always going to be given to you which is 9.8 meter per second squared. Height is measured from the ground or floor or some other reference level. Doubling either the mass of the object or its height will double its gravitational potential energy. So, let's say this example about what is the potential energy relative to the water surface of a diver at the top of a 10 meter high diving platform. Suppose she has a mass of 50 kilograms. So potential energy equals mass times the acceleration times due to gravity times the height. So her mass is 50 kilograms. This G is constant, always going to be given to you 9.8 meter per second squared and the height, which is 10 meter. So once we put them all together in the calculator and multiply them all together, we have the amount.